Welcome to Excellence in Excel and in this video we're going to focus on how we can make our daily sales uh, visible with a VLOOKUP. Right now it's starting to work a bit but we have one big challenge here and that is it doesn't see correctly how uh, every sale that we have currently and to do that we need to play it differently. So the first thing when I start to realize is because you can see here, for example, this is a different sale. So we have here sale, someone bought four apples instead of three. But if we select here on apples, it just doesn't work correctly. Oh, well, now it works suddenly. I'm surprised that it works now. What if we do oranges? As you can see, oranges does not work. And there's no real reason for that yet. Well, the real reason is it sees oranges and then say yes, bam. Then the next one will do will loop through this as well. Say oranges, yes, bam. And then the final as well. So it doesn't see this, this, or this. Because they are all considered equal. So what we need to do is we need to make them unequal. So that the search function understands which one it needs to search. So you can see we have this here. We have here our value and probably we have to move this one because we're going to use a new value as well. So there must be a real value or a hidden value somewhere. So how do you calculate that? Well, very simple. We can do it here. You can see the amount of sales we have. So if we have three transactions for each, we need to be able to count that we have three transactions for apples, three transactions for kiwis. And if we have them, then we can have like a transaction ID. Yes, very simple. So how to do that? Well, you maybe heard of the count function. So if you heard of the count function, the count function basically just counts these values here or any things and then we'll say how many how many columns are there. Well right now it doesn't see anything, but that's alright. Maybe it should use this if we have this here. Four. So it will only count numbers. Yes? So in our case, is what we need is not count, but we need count if. So you can see, since we have this here, so we have our values here. So let's start with that. Yeah, so maybe you heard of the count function, and we what we really need is not count, but count if. And count if basically means it will count a, a certain value if the criteria matches. And that's exactly what we need because then you know exactly how many sales you have for apples. So let's say here, for example, we have our count if. Yes. So we have a range and it's a criteria. So what is our range? This is the entire range we have. Yes. And then we have a comma. What is the criteria? So comma here. Criteria is, I don't know what I see, like something is going wrong here. There's a double comma, but it should not be. Well, let, let me just click the formula build. I think it's a bug. For some reason, it's getting double. So I'm just going to remove this for now. I'll just remove all of this. We just stay here. All right. So we have this. We have this. What is the criteria? The criteria is apples. Right? So then we have this. So you have here the range. You select the range, and then you select the criteria. And then right now, I'm going to freeze the cell. So I'm going to push here F4. Or does it work? No, it doesn't work here. So I can push it here. F4. So we freeze the cells so they lock into place. All right, we're done. So it understands we have three apples. So I'm going to drag this down. And we have then, it will instantly understand we have three of each. So that's nice. So now we can start to continue with the very next phase of what we want. So now you might want, okay, what do we need to do then if we redid the count if? Well, what we need to do now is we need to know here, of course, what's the value. Well, what we can do is simple. We can, of course, select here this, and then we can start to count that. So, but we need to do this automatically, right? So what we need to do is this should have apples plus one. That's what we really want to do. But for this, we need a formula. You cannot do it like that. Because if not, you will do what we call manual work, and manual work will not work here. So I will do that in the next 
video we'll continue with that and that's probably one of our one of the closing videos and in there we're going to focus on how to do this